Okay, Sarah, again, yeah. I'm with Sarah. It, today's date is March 25th, and I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, can you tell me, can you tell me your current grade? Yeah, my current grade is ni ninth grade. Ninth grade, okay, good. And what grade are you applying to? I plan to ninth grade. Ninth grade as well, okay, excellent. What is your birth date? I beg your pardon? Uh, sure. What is your date of birth? Yep. Yeah, my date of birth is in 2001 in February and the 16th. February 16th. Okay. Good. February 16th, 2001. Sarah, do you have any exam scores like SLEP, TOEFL, SSAT, ITEP? Do you have any of those? Yeah, I have TOEFL. Good. Do you know your TOEFL score? TOEFL score is uh, 33. 33. Okay. Good. Now, Sarah, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What are your interests? Yeah. I'm interested in playing a hole. It's a kind of traditional instrument in China. And I can do some calligraphy and uh, playing basketball, volleyball, playing table tennis. And uh, I can swim. Good, you can swim. swim. Out of all of those activities, which one is your favorite? My favorite activity is uh, Playing our who and uh, volleyball. Good. Tell me the, the music, the instrument that you play. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah. I can play uh, our who called uh, Er Quan Ying Yue in China. It's a very famous uh, music in China. But I don't know how to say it's in English. Okay, that's fine. How did you get started in playing this instrument? Yeah. Hi. I have played this instrument since I was six years old. Okay, and how often do you practice? I even practice it every day. Daily. Okay, excellent. Let me ask you about your school. What is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in my current school is Chinese and English because I think Chinese poem is very beautiful. And uh, um, I can learn something from the human before. Through English, I know a lot of useful information and I can communicate with people from other cities. Excellent. So you like the traditional aspect of Chinese language and you also like the ability to communicate with others using English. Yeah. Uh, um, why... Excuse me. Is there some problem with our collection? Okay, uh, let me know. Can you still hear me? Yeah. You can hear you, but sometimes you don't move in. Oh, okay. So let's let's take our time, okay? Okay. Uh, Sarah, can you tell me why you're interested in studying in the United States? Because, as we all know, America has the best education in the world. And I want to be a fashion designer in the future, so I need to have uh, I need to create something very well. And uh, I know that uh, American can told a lot of things to me, not just uh, study knowledge And I want to be a useful 
designer in the future. So I want to study in America. Okay, excellent. So you really want to study fashion then in America? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, tell me more about this desire to become a fashion designer. What have you made any plans or what? Tell me more about this. Yeah. I want to be a fashion designer, so I read a lot of fashion magazines. Even though I'm, a, I'm having a trip on the train, I will read magazines on the train. Uh, then I will watch some TV show, like uh, The Secret of Victoria, or something in Paris. Excellent. Now, do you have plans after high school to continue fashion design, or uh, what is your plan after high school? After high school, I will still in America and uh, continue learn something. If I want to be a fashion designer at that time, I will enter a college that can tell me a lot of things about uh, fashion. Good. Okay. But your focus but your focus is on fashion. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh Sarah, can you tell me something that is unique, something special about yourself? Something special on me because um, I can be friends with others easily. In Chinese, I have lots of friends. And I can also be friends with foreigners easily. Sometimes I even don't know their language and don't know what they are saying. But I just uh, can play with them. Good. Excellent. Have you been to other countries? Have you traveled? Yeah, I've been to Russia. Russia. Tell me about that experience. I think uh, I can't forget uh, the pigeons there. A lot of pigeons on the streets. They don't are afraid of people. So I think uh, humans there are very kind to them and don't hurt them. They are all very friendly. Greeting at me, but uh, I don't know how to say hello to the humans there because I can't uh, speak in Russia. I see, I see. And how long were you in Russia? I've been in Russia about uh, half a month. Oh wow! Okay, two weeks then. Okay, excellent. Sarah, what do you consider as one of your personal strengths? My personal strength is to... I can be suitable with a lot of things. Okay, so very flexible and adaptable. Yeah, and... Uh, always think uh, everything is interesting. Oh, excellent. Okay. You're interested in many things. Okay. Uh, Sarah, what is, what is a weakness of yours? I think uh, a weakness of me, just as I, see, uh, I said before, I'm interested in many things. But uh, I can just uh, continue to do something uh, in the next six years or more time. I see. So you're interested in a lot of things. It's a, weak, it's a strength and a weakness because it's also difficult for you to focus. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Excellent. Sarah, when you come to America, you will be involved in the community. 
In which way do you think you will benefit and help the community? I will try to make friends with others that I can learn English every time. I can also um, find some help with the teachers and uh, the host or my friends. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now Sarah, you're in grade 9. Is there anything that you would do differently? Yeah, knowing that uh, what has I done different from each other in grade uh, 9? No, what, what do you plan on doing differently from China to when you come to America? What is something yeah. that you will improve or do differently? Yet? I'm planning to ride a horse and uh, make me be more stronger or uh, be stronger. Then I can be better in America. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Because now, as we all know, um, students in China is very, it's not stronger than America. So I need to do something. Okay. So you want to work on your personal development? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I will try my best. Good. Good. Now, Sarah, we are going to move on to the reading portion. I will post something to you on Skype. I want you to read it out loud, and then we will have a conversation on that. Okay. Okay. okay hang on. I have a bad code. Can you? I can still hear you. Yes, I can. Okay. Can do you see it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and read it out loud for me. Some some scientists argue that uh, genetically modified uh, organism can be great benefit for humans. These scientists uh, claim GM foods can help feeding starving countries. But how about GM pets? Isn't that going too far? One company from Taiwan wants to market glow in the dark fish to make their fish glow in the dark. The company <coughs> transplanted a jellyfish fish gun into a zebra fish. The fish shine a yellow green color. In spite of criticism, the company claims that uh, there is no need to worry. The fish are starly, so they cannot have babies and escape into the elements. As well, the gun is natural occurring in jellyfish, and it is harmless. Okay, excellent. Now, Sarah, can you tell me a little bit? Can you tell me what you know about the passage? Can you summarize it for me? I know some information about uh, glowing dark fish and uh, GM food, GM pets. Good. So this passage is mainly talk about uh, GM food. Good. Uh, based on the passage, do you think you agree that scientists should should change food like that? Should manipulate food? No, I don't think. I think uh, 
we should uh, protect nature and uh, go back to nature. Maybe it's not very safe. Some dark fish. Good. So you prefer things to be natural then? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Sarah, this concludes the formal portion of our interview. I will stop the recording. I want you to stay there, okay?